Hey everybody, welcome back to Pirate Studios. So I just want to do a little bit of a review about The Sound of Freedom. It's the 4th of July here in America and uh, took my mom to go see it today. Um, and I just kind of want to not really do a review, but I just really want I want everybody to know how important this film is. And I, I want everybody to care about this as much as I do. Um, I had watched some interviews with the main character of the movie, the real person, Tim Ballard. And I watched... Um, an interview podcast kind of thing with Jim Caviezel. And um, I tell you, nothing will prepare you for this movie. It, nothing prepared me for this movie. Um, the amount of evil that is going on right now is just, it's unbelievable. Um, it was, it was the hardest thing I've ever watched. It was the hardest thing to watch. Um, right in the beginning of the movie, I immediately felt like crying. And it wasn't, it wasn't the anger that I felt from the pedophiles, but it was the sadness that I saw in these kids' faces. These, you know, the kids in the, it's a movie, but these kids, these little actors, they did so good. They did so good. Um, touching and life changing aren't really good enough words to describe the movie. Um, I feel like I lost a part of myself. And I'm not sure who I'll feels like I do and um, but like I said nothing can nothing nothing prepared me for this movie nothing I've heard a lot of evil I've heard about a lot of evil but I had no idea I really had no idea I'm not surprised but yeah I had no idea this this needs to end i don't if you if you don't believe it that it's happening you were truly lost and i feel very sorry for you it's i after watching this i'm i feel more sad than i ever have in my whole life and this time out of all the sadness I've felt in my whole life, it's not about me. The sadness is not about my own life. It's about all those kids. I don't have any kids. I've never been married. And frankly, kids, the kids, when I'm around kids, a lot of times they're annoying. But I would give my life for them. Because they're innocent. Um, I'm not going to hold back on saying this too. There is. There's a couple of things. Maybe even three. There's a couple of things in this movie. That they show. Um, I heard about this movie. Four or five years ago. And uh, it never came out till now. But uh, you can call me a conspiracy theorist if you want. 
but I heard about the movie five years ago. Um, I, um, I'm sure some of you may have heard of Jeffrey Epstein. Um, there was, they didn't mention him in the movie, but they did show an island and it looked a lot like that island. Um, it was, it was pretty messed up. It looked a lot like that island. And then another thing that uh, I had heard four, three or four years ago, there was, um, there was a ship with a bunch of um, shipping containers on it, and it got stuck in a canal. Uh, it made main, it actually made made mainstream media. It was uh, called Evergrande. Um, there was rumor on the internet amongst the conspiracy theories that it was full of kids. Well, this movie shows a ship full of shipping containers. Actually, there's a scene where they they're throwing kids into it. So it, it's you, it was kind of a bit eye opening, and I felt like I felt like I knew more about this than a lot of people in the theater. Call me what you want. I don't care. But I read the world with my heart. And um, God is telling me that it's the truth. And uh, I believe that it's really happening. And we need to stop it. It's not about... It's not... It's not about what religion you are or what political belief you are. It's about good versus evil. And that is pure evil. And I'm not afraid about what anybody thinks about it. The, just like Jim Caviezel says at the end of the movie, the real heroes are the boy and the girl, the brother and sister of the movie. And uh, when the movie was over, I, I, I couldn't hardly keep myself together. So, anyway, I feel like I, I want to do something more than try to donate money. That's not enough. I want to do more than that. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I'm, I don't know what I can do. But it's got to be more than donating money. I wish I could arrest those people myself. I wish I could do a lot more than that. <laughs> but that's not very godly. Anyway, I'm going to leave you some links in the description for the interview with the podcast um, with Jim Caviezel. And then I'm going to leave a link, a link uh, on Tony Robbins with... Tim Ballard and Jim Caviezel, and I just watched a new one with just Tim Ballard talking about the things that are going on. Also, there uh, is, I wouldn't call it a sequel, but there's more coming out after this. Maybe another year. I know for a fact there is a four-part documentary coming out, and Mel Gibson is involved. He wasn't directly involved with this movie, but he's going to be involved with the next one. Um with Tim Ballard and it's going to be on Haiti and uh, you can get that information on YouTube on the interviews just as I did so anyway I'm going to link the interviews in my description please go see the movie it will the movie will tear you apart but it's important and uh, we need to change this we need to fix this we can't just keep going to work and enjoying our lives while evil is destroying children. So I'm not going to watch this video. I don't want to watch myself talking about this. I'm just going to post it for everybody else to watch and hear what I think and hear my plea to please go watch the movie and if you can't bear to watch the movie pay for some tickets pay it forward 
as Angel Studios is saying, and let somebody else that wants to watch it watch it. They're trying to get two million tickets sold. They're already over one million as of today. I think it's going to be in theaters for a month or so. So just um, go to the website, which I'll link in the description, and type in your zip code and find out where the closest place is. And uh, go watch it or pay it forward. Spread the word. And uh, let's do something. I love you.